Guys, um, yeah, my name is Hyung Gil Jung. Um, before I start my presentation, I talk about YouTube, one of my favorite uh, first. So, um, as you all know, YouTube allows users to uh, watch a lot of variety videos on the site. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I also enjoyed watching videos uh, that I was interested in the YouTube. But I wasted so much time to watching YouTube videos, so I decided to uh, delete the application in my iPhone uh, just a few weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, the most favorite video that I really enjoyed watching on YouTube is about introducing Korean food to foreigners, or introducing Korean food as foreigners. So Korea has been developed a unique and diverse food for more 1,500 years, and um, because um, it has great uh, geographical uh, advantages that it is surrounded by mountains and seas and also it has <coughs> four seasons. So I would like to introduce a Korean traditional beverage and snack uh, in this presentation. So the first one is uh, Sikhe. Sikhe is traditional sweet uh, Korean rice beverage and I'm usually served as a dessert. It was traditionally drunk uh, during the winters, but nowadays it is uh, available all year round. In the past, people drunk, uh, drank sake to avoid indigestion, <coughs> especially during the holidays when they ate uh, rich, uh, oily food. Uh, sake was introduced for the first time in an old book. Uh, the name is uh, Sumun Sasol. It compiled uh, 1740. So sake has comes out in various forms now. Uh, such as uh, cans and plastic bottles and uh, glass bottles. So a, long, a long time ago, Korea used to be a, um, to be a mainly a agricultural society, and uh, rice farming was well developed at that time. And so a lot of traditional Korean food um, made with rice. And also rice is a staple food of Korean. So CK is also made with uh, two grains. So one is uh, barley and another one is rice. It is made by uh, pouring malt water onto cooked rice. The malt water is uh, steeped in the rice at typically 150 degrees uh, Fahrenheit onto, until grains of rice appear on the surface. And um, the liquid is then carefully poured out and uh, leaving the left parts and boiling until it gets sweet enough. Next Korean traditional food is yakwa. Yakwa is deep fried and wheat based uh, Korean snack. <coughs> Traditionally, uh, the sweet was over offered only during the holidays and festivals and marriages. In the past, uh, yakwa was mostly enjoyed by the upper classes, um, as wheat uh, was rare and cherished ingredient, and honey also uh, was regarded highly. During all the time, honey was considered as healthy medicine in Korea. So this is why it is called yakwa, uh, which means the medicinal confectionery. The dough is made by uh, kneading sifted wheat flour with sesame oil, honey, uh, ginger juice, and uh, rice wine. Uh, yakwa gets its shape by being pressed into various shaped wooden molds. Uh, shaped pieces are slowly deep fried at a relatively low temperature, and then deep, the, the deep fried <coughs> cookies then soaked in honey and uh, mixed with a cinnamon powder and fried. So uh, the two Korean traditional foods that I, uh, intro I have introduced so far are steadily popular among Korean from past to present, and. Um, most of all, I wanted to, to introduce the two Korean traditional foods because they are easy to find uh, at the Asian grocery store in here. And then, so I think eating traditional food from other countries is uh, most easy and pleasant to way to understand uh, other countries' culture. So I, I hope that my presentation has helped you to understand uh, Korean culture too. Thank you.